And continuing with the news, ladies and gentlemen, more positive news on the COVID-19 vaccine front. What? The ARX for COVID-19 vaccine that is backed by AstraZeneca ACN, which we should have looked at yesterday. We'll take a look at it today. And we talked about Moderna, so I think it just makes sense to review it. It's generating the kind of antibody and T-cell killer cell response that the researchers will hope to see. Reports Robert Paston saying the first data is due to be published soon in The Lancet. That said, the efficacy will only be properly established in the large phase 3 program that is underway in the viral epicenter of Brazil to deliver a large database that assesses safety as well as efficacy. As I understand, not all of the many vaccines under development across the world increase both antibodies and T-cells, but the Oxford vaccine looks as though it has this twin effect. Proven effective, it could go into mass production as early as September. And Moderna jumping 17% after the closing bell on Tuesday, after the company released data that show its potential. Cardi, just one more time. Should we know? It's Cardi's turn. Thank you, Cardi, once again. You guys, you guys, quite a pair. Vaccine producing a robust immune response in all 45 patients in its early human trial. And just to give you a preview of the coronavirus vaccine, names are moving on the latest news. AstraZeneca moving 3.6, Pfizer 1.3, BioNTech 4.9, VBI 18.6, IBIO 14.2. I think it just makes sense, my friends, to start looking at the charts. We still got Bitcoin consolidating. That's all we're looking at here. Come on, Bitcoin. Do something. Do something. But let's go ahead and get started with Moderna, ladies and gentlemen. Let me take out my phone because I need those pre-market values. Let's see what we got over here with Moderna this morning. Yesterday, closing at 75.04, my friends. And... MRNA is the symbol currently at $88.84 ladies and gentlemen I know my target is over here at 108 8884 my friends look at this we said it here you heard it right in let's trade live that we needed to break a trend line Broke a trend line. We needed to retest and create a last kiss. Let's look at that for hours so you guys have a little bit of a better perspective. You can see the last kiss. And then we broke the resistance level with a bullish engulfing. And now we are creating higher highs, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful trade. This deserves the not bad at all. Beautiful earnings. Beautiful gains this morning. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Good morning, Oski Dominguez. Good to see you once again. Boom shakalaka. Lupita, bienvenida una vez más. Holy Boom shakalaka. Good to see you all across Canada. Let's see. We're waiting for it. That weekly candle actually showing bullish momentum. Not bad. Welcome back across Canada. Boom shakalaka. And guys, let's continue with the bio sector. We are on fire right now. From Moderna, why don't we go to AstraZeneca, ladies and gentlemen. AstraZeneca, AZN. We talked about it for quite a while because they got a funding for $1 billion. And AstraZeneca from $53.90. We are up $56.30, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Basically on our way to that resistance level, 3.9%. Doing some beautiful, beautiful early in the morning, ladies and gentlemen. Not bad at all. Across Canada, just go ahead and submit 
the link via the chat room. I think you will be able to do it now. Let me know if you actually can. Guys, what I'm saying is, if you have your own analysis, go ahead and take a snapshot. Let me see that URL, paste it in the chat room. If you're having any issues, just let me know. I will make sure that you will have access or just leave it in the comment section, my friends. But AstraZeneca, $56.30, not bad at all. And we saw many, many symbols over here like Pfizer, which moved 1.3%. PFE, just to, to have a quick look of what PFE is doing this morning. And why did it move? You can see those higher lows, those higher highs, the break of a trend line. Do you see all of this, my friends? We do this every day and the patterns are there. The charts gives us the signs. It tells us how to actually trade. And there you go, my friends, 3575 creating Higher highs, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. Going back to the resistance level. I'm going to go ahead and draw it over here. Keep that in mind. But Pfizer is starting to look good. What was the other one? BioNTech. Um, BioNTech, BNTX. Let's see what's up. BNTX. This one, I. oh, boy. Look at that, guys. It already has done our profit, our first Resistance being retested and BioNTech this morning waking up to $87.62, ladies and gentlemen. More here in the channel. Very happy with our positions. We've been writing this for quite a while, guys, and BioNTech at 87 so that basically is going up around four percent pre-market beautiful beautiful not bad at all and as you can see on the daily it is showing bullish candles all the way to revisit you already know that 105 very very close to it what was the other one v b i v and then we will finish with i b i o v b i b VBIV. Yes. VBIV is the other one that we actually looked. And finally, woo, this been quite a while, guys. Look at that. As we saw, I think earlier this week. No, actually, guys, these we've been looking at this like for yeah, a few weeks ago. And you can see that the retracement was definitely needed. And now VBIV at 451. Was yesterday close. This morning is waking up at $5.18. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't matter what universe you are from. We are actually making good trades here in the channel. Very lovely. Very happy about it, my friends. And finally, I know, Daniel, I know, IBIO, looking for IBIO as the last one for the biosector updates. Let's go ahead and take a look over here. IBIO, ladies and gentlemen, from $2.32, we are at $2.50, ladies and gentlemen, to the upside already. I do believe we can go ahead and retest that $2.70. It makes sense to me. And then after that, $3.40, which will be a beautiful. We've been writing it since 55 cents. Very happy about this trade as well, ladies and gentlemen. We've been talking, uh, talking about it for quite a while. 55, look at that, 350% to the upside. Very happy. Don't forget to smash the like button. Right, Randy? Oh, yeah! Let's go ahead and continue before I get to the airlines in some beautiful booty. And I talked about the bio sector, and I think I already talked about Vaxart as well. And Vaxart, as an update, ladies and gentlemen, did retrace pre-market from 1692 it retraced to 1629. 1629, you can see over here that we got 
4.5% to the downside, but everything is good. I'm just waiting for the next retracement. I think it needs to happen. Maybe at $14, that will be lovely. But this is one of the biggest trades in our channel. 35 cents our entry. Guys, check out my Instagram. I've been posting a lot of the things regarding technicals and the stock market. Hopefully, you will find my story helpful because that's what I usually post at. Posting more stories than even actual posts. Let's see what else has moved, ladies and gentlemen. But anyways, I gotta do this one. Monster kill. Hell, man. 1694. That's beautiful. One that I've been looking at for quite a while, and it is not my endorsement. Well, I like it. They're just not paying me to be an influencer, you know, because uh, we're still lower in the in the subscribers. So, guys, let's go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Maybe David T wants to sponsor me. Who knows? 74 cents. I'm waiting patiently on this one because what I'm waiting from them to like to hear from them is will they have a new infrastructure for their e-commerce and how they will evolve that business. That is something that I've been waiting for. A lot of people asking me about Sorento as well. Sorento Pharmaceuticals. Do you remember that article where it said Sorento has a cure? Well, Sorento did go up to $10 and it retraced back to $386. After that, a creation of a higher low and a higher high and a bullish momentum after a trendline break indicates that we are still going strong. At $7.80, we have retraced 1.7%, but I do still believe that this can actually continue with the bullish momentum. It requires patience. It requires time. I think George Harrison said it best, man, with a beautiful song. I've got my mindset. Anyways, guys, SPCE, Shuey, are you gonna go back home, my friend? Dude, if you go, I will miss you. No, 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 no. I know, I know, I know. But, but, my heart will always be with you. But SPCE, ladies and gentlemen.